Hey, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, 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 See if I can set this joint up. Uh, let's see here. Looks like everything will go. I want to give uh, double honor to our apostles slash elders, which are Jim Metz, and blessings and salutations to you, brothers out there teaching and enduring truth and sincerity. Um, I hope the volume is working. Uh, Lord will it is, I believe it is. Uh, but I wanted to go over um, utilizing your time. You know, it's like it, man. Satan came in right at the, at the right time, you know, when the spirit gets going, you know. I wanted to go outside, it's a nice day, you know, uh, type of deal, so I was like, let me sit outside, but, you know, Satan waving by, so let me get it in properly, you know, let me, let me, uh, I'm send some prayers for a decent amount of silence, right, here, <laughs> pray without ceasing, right, uh, but, like I was saying, I wanted to go over something, uh, uh, uh dealing with utilizing your time. Because there's many aspects of utilizing your time. There's brothers that don't really have that much time and have to, you know, be be efficient and uh, stewardess in small increments of time. But there's also people who have a whole bunch of time that don't utilize it. You know, really, we all have time, you know, um, on different aspects. The way I see it, you know, if the Most High put you in his ministry, he'll never put you in a situation where you don't have the time to preach the gospel. That's that's an oxymoron, you know, for him to uh, uh, graft you in and not give you the ability to perform. Because uh, um, the Most High says, um, um, even through temptation, he always provide a way out. You know, there's 24 hours in a day. Um, I always say you sleep eight. You work eight, that's 16, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, that leaves you with another eight hours. You got, you know, uh, your commute, your daily commute. You could say that's two hours worth of commute. That leaves you with six hours. You could say eating, sleeping, I mean, eating, preparing, and chilling. That leaves you two hours. That takes away two hours. So now you got four hours, you know what I'm saying? And then you got, you know, your family, your recreation, you can say that's two hours or you know what I'm saying and now you got two hours left you know and then you can say a hobby or whatever you know that goes in recreation time too so you really technically you should have a, at the least two hours of time of studying where there's an ability to get it in you know um, and this is something I had to tell myself because I was that person that's saying you know damn I don't have time to do this I don't have time to do that but then when I really looked in retrospect of how I'm managing my my time there is time for me to do something you know what i'm saying uh there is time available for you to get some type of edification some type of lessons in some type of something in to to the ministry again the most high ain't gonna, ain't gonna bring you into the ministry for you not to be able to perform but that's on that level you know what i'm saying and brothers we all you know as men of law we figured that out but but that's that's not what I wanted to get really get on. I wanted to get on the you know when you have time, you know when you have time when brothers have time, and you're not utilizing it, you know. So in Proverbs six and six it says, "Go to the ant, thou sluggard; consider her ways and be wise." So uh, go to the word sluggard. It's a uh, um, itazal. Itazol, or Itazol, or Itaza and La is Itazol, I believe. Um, it says sluggish, lazy, sluggard, you know, slothful, sluggard. You know what I'm saying? You're basically lazy, you know. Uh, and let me see here. I want to go to the etymology of, uh, of the word lazy. I know it's like, you know, dragging it, but, you know, through the spirit, I want to look it up. It says uh, a person adverse to labor, action, or effort. A word of unknown origin, thought to be from, from uh, thought to be from late, tipsy, uh, uh, skeet is responsible for the prevailing modern view that it 
probably comes from Low German, from a source such as Middle Low German, weak, feeble, tired, modern, right? It means to slack. You know, uh, uh, that's a, like the Lord. The Lord is not slack. The Lord is not lazy. The Lord is not going to take a day off. The Lord is not going to, um, you know, you rest. You're always supposed to rest. That's what that's what sleep is for. You know, uh, I don't know who this is, man. Uh, but that's what that's what sleep is for. Um, and also, you got you got recreational time. It, it's totally fine, as the Book of Ecclesiastes say. You know, that's what that's what the Lord provided these uh, beautiful things in this world for is to enjoy. So you, you got to have the balance. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you got a job to do, right? So it says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Which having no guide, overseer, or ruler. And it, to you niggas, that's all. Oh, oh, yeah, so you don't need no ruler. No, man. It's just basically saying, it, it don't, it's saying that the ant has initiative. It doesn't need a jump start. It doesn't need somebody to tell you to, to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes, it takes, it takes the uh, uh, credi credibility away from you when somebody got to get up and tell you to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like the apostles putting out a decree to, to, to bring out lessons, to more lessons, that takes credit away from you and your uh, initiative when they got to tell you to, and tell us to put out more lessons. You know, when we should, you know, if we did it on our own, that would have been more credit toward us. You know, and it's not the goal to get credit, but... You know, um, a brother, you know, brothers in, in all sincerity, I'm saying in all sincerity, you will understand why I say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody got to tell you to be on time at camp, you know, you can't sit there and say that that you're 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 trying your best when somebody got to keep telling you to to do a thing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it says, but that's, that's just a side note, you know. It says, um... It says provided um which have no guide overseer or ruler provided her meat in the summer and gather her food in the harvest you know so basically this ant doesn't need doesn't need nobody to say hey man you should read or you should take this time to do this or you should do that you know that ant is going to get up and say this is the opportunity for me to advance myself you know there 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 shouldn't you know in this in this ministry you should always want to be you know, top shelf. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be mid tier. You know, bottom shelf. Uh, a bottom shelf Israelite. You know what I'm saying? So in verse nine it says, "How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want." as an armed man so yeah yeah you're gonna want to know knowledge yeah you're gonna wish and wonder why you can, you're not as, as as intellectual as a uh, as another person you're gonna wonder these things because you're not you're not putting in the work that you're supposed to put in within the ministry you're not you're not doing going and doing above and beyond to uh, ensure that you're competent and where you're at if you're always wondering why you're incompetent, you always wonder why you're, you're fucking up, you always wonder why you're not as, uh, you don't have as good as breakdowns, or you're, you're not as aware or prudent or circumspect, or you're lacking in the ministry, basically, you have to always examine yourself. That's why the scripture says, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Examine how much you're putting out compared to how much you're getting in. You know what I'm saying? And... If you could sit there and look at yourself and say, man, I could study more. I could do this. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? If it gets to the point that you're lacking in the ministry, then you should definitely get up and, and do something about it. Make some changes. Make some adjustments. Instead of doing the same thing and trying to ratchet up the, uh, like, say you're reading for an, for an hour. You know what I'm saying? Or you're reading for 30 minutes and you're wondering why you're lacking in the ministry. It don't mean that you go into a different subject for the same 30 minutes. Sometimes you you go, you know, um, for more. You know, some it, it's, it's different adjustments, man. You know, also focal points. You know, if you focus on one thing and making a muscle memory, it'll be hard to leave you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
So I want to get this get this scripture here. So like it, I can, I'm spelling it wrong, so it's slowing me down. So we're going to go into the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, verse 24. It says, uh, it says, the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. And that word leisure, if we go to, uh, let's see here. Like it. No, I'm looking it up right now. I can bear with me. So that word leisure, it goes back to the. Um, it, it basically means opportunity afforded by freedom from necessary occupations, and the word has undergone much the same development in a sense. The appear probably analogy of pleasure to do something at leisure without haste with the liber uh, with the liberation preserves the older sense to do something at leisure when one has time so leisure don't mean that you chilling you know what I'm saying wisdom don't mean because you, you automatically think leisure means that you're chilling wisdom comes by opportunity of having free time and it also uh, uh, what I like about it is basically it says to do something at leisure without haste. Basically, when you don't have to rush it. You know what I'm saying? Because I just got through talking with someone about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it, and we, we, I was scheduled to do a thing today, but the leisure wasn't... I didn't have the leisure to do it today. It would have been inconvenient to sit there and do it today. So I said, I do it tomorrow, Lord's will. You know what I'm saying? Because... I don't want to be pressed for time for something that I need uh, uh, the freedom in the uh, uh, what it says to do without haste. I don't want to rush this. You know what I'm saying? It's just like cooking food. You don't want to rush food. You know what I'm saying? So you need the leisure to cook the food properly. You don't want to blast it on high, throw it in there, and hurry up and try to mix it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same thing with studying. You know, you find that opportunity of leisure. And based off your time of leisure, wisdom is gaining that opportunity of leisure. If you got 30 minutes, you should, you know, do like 10 minutes worth of studying. You know what I'm saying? In that 30 minutes. You know, or prepare for 10 minutes of studying. Say a chapter. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do an hour, if you got an hour of leisure, then you will do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you know, 30 minutes. Not saying that this is a regulated thing, but you should basically put enough time within yourself so that you, you can take the time to read what you're listening read what you um investigate and get into it and, and, and increase you know what i'm saying when you're when you're out on the highways and byways you don't want you don't want to be rushed with this with this ministry but wisdom comes about opportunity of free time that time that you have of chilling if you're not increasing especially if you're not increasing if you're not being uh, uh, um, increasing in this ministry as far as your your, your position toward the uh, gospel, then you have to look at your leisure time and say, okay, I can start working on this here. I can start working on this here. I can start reading here. Then I can start focusing on this thing. You know what I'm saying? And um, that will create produ productivity in your uh, by using your leisure time properly. 
You know what I'm saying? Because we all got leisure time. There's, there's no way we work Monday through seven days a week. Nobody um, normally don't, doesn't work seven days a week unless you do trucking. But that even that's our leisure because you're just driving, right? You know what I'm saying? The Lord will provide you with a window of time to study, to do the ministry, to do whatever. He's not going to sit here and say, "Come in," and then say, "I'm not. I'm gonna block you off from with the, uh, block you off from the opportunity of teaching." That's an oxymoron. The Lord ain't gonna do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're a part of the elect, I understand. That's just your lot. You don't have time. And all you could do is, is uh, 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 provide to the Akim, you know, and provide to the uh, prophets, you know, via through uh, arms and things like that. Understandable. But if you're a prophet, if you're, if you're within a camp or a ministry and you don't have time to do, do anything, you know, you do have time. You know what I'm saying? And we, you, we can't accept that fact that we don't have time, you know. But this is mainly to address to those who do have time but are not utilizing their time and you're underperforming. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm always feel like I'm un I always feel like I'm underperforming, and I'm always finding, trying to find and increase. But that that sluggard demon, that procrastination demon, gets on me. You know what I'm saying? And I, I uh, piss off time. I piss off valuable time doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Or something that's anything that's not productive to the ministry when when it should be is is vain. You know, even if I'm doing fucking push-ups or working out, it don't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm being productive toward my body. But what the scripture said, exercise profit of little, right? I could be productive to my body, but at the same time, I'm not studying. And, I, and when I get on the highways or when I'm walking out and about and to and fro on my daily, I'm underperforming spiritually in my virtue and my ethics. And I'm saying, damn, why am I fucking up? Why, why did I forget to do this? Or why am I, um, I, I forgot it was a Shabbat tonight or this and that? It's because... During my leisure time, I'm supposed to be increasing. I'm supposed to be gathering my oil. You know what I'm saying? When you gather your oil, the Holy the, the, the Holy Spirit sups with you. And it, and it gets you onto the point. It gets you cognitive. It gets you on point and ready, man. You know what I'm saying? It becomes muscle reflex to do a thing. So when you uh, find this time, you're supposed to take advantage of it. Because time is nothing but opportunities. You know? And time is not guaranteed. You know, so you have to take advantage of these opportunities. You don't know when you're calling the Lord's calling call it. Uh, you don't know when the Lord's gonna come. You know what I'm saying? To the point that just like the scriptures talk about with the with the uh, uh, the virgins with the oil, they basically had the leisure. The seven wise and the seven foolish. The seven wise had the leisure to gather their oil, and the seven seven um foolish had the leisure to gather the oil. They, they both had the same amount of free time, but one didn't utilize it, and then when it was game time, they didn't have enough to make it for the trip. So you may say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Now in the situation that I'm speaking on, I'm not putting a thing off because of some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? There's some times that you, you know, to be efficient, you should put it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, to do a lesson. I gotta go to work in 30 minutes, and I wanna do a lesson you know what I'm saying, or 10 minutes, I gotta go work in 10 minutes, I wanna do a lesson right now, my spirit's on fire about it, that don't mean that I'm gonna, I just hop up and do a mess because I might not be able to do it tomorrow, it's the Lord's will, I'll do it tomorrow, but to do a thing right, I'm not gonna sit here and do it now, a 30 minute to 15 minute situation in 10 minutes and cram it in, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna do it when the Lord provides that window of time for me, you know what I'm saying, so just like I said, like a, a situation that came about hey i'm gonna put it off to the mall right and and when the lord provides that time then bam you know what i'm saying then then uh uh the productivity comes but if you are basically having the time 